car has been leading police uh, on this chase. They've been on I-30 for, for two hours. Here they are now in a residential part of Arlington. You see he just turned left into some kind of, uh, we can assume it's some kind of open parking lot. Mm -hmm. and uh, he's Okay, this is the old TxDOT depot off of I-30. Um, and you see him just pick up speed there and rush through. And again, this is still on a flat tire. That's what we see him doing right there on a flat tire. And he's driving okay. over the median here and back onto Collins and around the traffic. Some uh, very dangerous maneuvers here uh, as we continue to watch this driver flee police. So he is right at I-30 in Collins. Up until now, this chase has hasn't been that dramatic. He's been leading police going maybe 10, maybe 5 miles per hour on the highway. But then, a short time ago, he gets off the highway. He's now in Arlington, and now he's driving erratically through city streets. We've seen him go through neighborhoods. He's mm -hmm. going in and out, in between cars. Uh, he's whizzed by children walking uh, on the sidewalk. He has no regard for uh, for any traffic and there you see him driving on the this is just so you know where we are this is the road to six flags that he's about to get on right now so this is north arlington the westbound toward cooper on the right hand side should be some kind of a golf course. Uh oh well now he's moved off of the main road so this should be interesting to see gary uh you can see where he's headed i don't know what is through there looks like he's trying to get uh this, this is an empty parking lot, a construction strip zone. Officers are moving in really soon. They really wanted to catch him inside there. But now uh, he's making his way back to the road, and he actually uh, will probably get out of this, um, of this parking area and back onto the road again, which uh, is really disappointing because it's, uh, traffic is picking up, the speed is picking up. Yeah. And uh, he's southbound yeah. now on, on uh, that. That would be southbound on Collins. Uh, it, Gary, if I'm correct, what you'll see up ahead of him on the left hand side, a few blocks down, should be um, sh should be the, the stadium. Uh, and on the right hand side, of course, all kinds of traffic. But again, this is the busiest tra This is the busiest area in terms of retail in ter for Arlington, I think, in North Arlington. Right, Gary? Yeah, it's very crowded here. OK, you'll see them cutting up across the sidewalk over a restaurant. I'm speaking just a little bit ahead here, uh, but um, it is a very, uh, very busy section of, of town. A lot of traffic, not a lot of pedestrian traffic, thankfully. But you'll see him cutting across here. Look at that, cutting across onto the streets again, trying to shorten his route and trying to lose these guys. But back out uh, now is going the wrong way down a street. Uh, this is just increased dramatically in danger. One way okay. down what appears to be. This is the ramp to get on, to get off That's, on one of these yeah. streets here. It's one way, and he's going the wrong way. And uh, yeah, here is, comes the... Go ahead, Gary. I think this is very dangerous. He's on, he's on the ramp to go the wrong way to the service road getting off of uh, getting off of 20. He may realize that, but he, he's going to have to turn around now. Well, there he goes. So he's getting on now, Gary. He's going to be going eastbound on, on 30. Is that correct? Yes, eastbound on 30. He almost got hit by that red car, but uh, now he's back on I-30 eastbound picking up the speed yet again and uh, trying to get back on the highway and he probably will be successful to that here just uh, strain on Fort minutes. Worth's resources. This is a very difficult situation for them. Yeah, yeah he's about to pass two major roads. Uh, 360 will be coming up in just a second. So 360 and I-30. He's on I-30 eastbound headed toward Dallas. So that uh, where he is right there, that uh, I cannot remember the name of that road. Uh, but it's also a, a main exit, but Ballpark Way also coming up uh, relatively quickly. But after that will be 360, and then shortly after that will be, I think, uh, 161, if we're heading north on 161. But right How now, again, on, on I-30, uh, looks like he's headed, on the, he headed to the east, fuel. Uh, headed toward the Grand Prairie right now. Police officers are again behind him uh, in this pursuit that's been going on now since uh, since about 1:45 that we have been following all of this. So the best part of the of the uh, of the afternoon they've been following him. We initially heard that this was a simple traffic stop, but now we've learned based upon sources that Lawrence Akalik has uh, that this individual may have some extensive uh, involvement uh, with the justice system in terms of having gone to prison for 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 drugs. May also be a suspect in terms of being a drug dealer right now. 
uh, and is trying to elude police because of the situation uh, that he's experienced in the past. Tanya Eiser joins us now. She's got some more information. Tanya, again, has extensive uh, background with regard to dealing with law enforcement. Go. I understand that uh, he's going to wreck out. Watch this picture as we come up. That's a police unit you see there. Let's see what happens as he pushes to the right. Well, there we go. There's the bumper. Yep, they're getting him stopped. That was a, that was a SWAT There's vehicle. The That's, yeah, you see four SWAT on the, the side of it. using the SWAT vehicle. Looks like a person trying to they get out of the back cat, right there. Apparently. Police officers coming out both sides of them. Oh, sorry. Police officers coming out both sides of him right now. Some smoke coming from the, the, the white car of the suspect. Officers trying to come into the, to the inside. Again, this trace has come to a close. Asking him to get out, and it looks like he either cannot or will not. You see them poking at the window. They'll be coming around to the other side uh, and momentarily. This is a SWAT unit that's come around that's, pulled, that's brought this to a close. Police officers, again, there he is trying to crawling out the window right now. Police officers come around, grab him, pull him out of the vehicle, bringing him to the ground now. Officers look like they're securing the situation. They don't seem to be concerned about anyone else being inside. They brought the suspect out of the vehicle. It has wrecked. Uh, so it looks like the officers are okay. The suspect now in custody. Police officers securing the scene. Tanya uh, Iser joins me. Tanya, did you get a chance to see and he's going to be across the across the uh, avenue. Looks like he's crashed into a barricade. Continue. To, can I get further cars just to the uh, to the on ramp of the highway? This guy's going to be out of work here. Okay, Polo Two. I've got two on foot into the bush. Two on foot into the bush. Further cars to this area. Down towards Sid Parish Park. If I can get a car to go into the parkland area and cut them off on the waterway. I'm going with one across the yep, waterway. Bobby. Get in line, Bobby, if we can. Yep. I can't see the other one. Oh, yeah, they've got two. Polo two. They're both into the waterway. They're coming under. They're coming under the uh, the Princess Motorway now. I've got them both into the waterway. We're going to be out of work here because we're going to lose them. Copy under the Princess oh, Motorway. We'll there, come out. Car 14. On the other side of the waterway. Other side of the waterway. Stop the car and get in the waterway for me, please. Oh. Yeah. Polo 2, I've got them on the northern side. Northern side, I need police to the northern side. I've got some highway cars coming in off the bowling area, bowling green now. I've got one moving into the water. Both of them are into the water. They're wading through the water. Hands up. Heads are up. Polo 2, I've got two in custody, two in custody, further police to the bowling club, please. The cars, two in custody, cars to the bowling club area, thanks, cars straight to the bowling club area. Good work, guys. Yes, yeah. Charlie 12 Central, and units, no pursuit authorized for Daytona units, later one call. LE3 and DVPD1 are patched. All right, everyone. 36, I just want to stress to you, he doesn't care about your safety, so be very careful. Overtaking vehicle, center lane, moving to the right outside lane. Oh, yeah, there you go. Just 14 is going 133, may pass me. 36, everyone's going to try to give you a countdown to when he's going to be there, so just listen up for them. 36, everyone, I'm directly under the overpass, hidden by the concrete. Okay, he's uh, passing vehicles now on the sh left shoulder. Alright, he's pulled over at a, the turnaround at just north of the 280. He's going southbound. Alright, he's exiting onto Old Dixie. Yes, northbound on Old Dixie, passing the BP gas station. Gonna be southbound US 1. Right, that Mark unit that's sitting there in that turnaround. He's coming up right hand lane by himself. Just switch to the left hand lane right there. Alright, get ready. Five, four. He's coming up to all the blocked intersection here. He's continuing on, passing on the shoulder. Still southbound. Alright, he's turning around. He's going. 
The wrong direction on the on-ramp to north south by 95, coming back towards 40. Coming up to Clyde Morris. He's going to be south on Nova now. Over the uh, median, going uh, southbound, northbound lanes. Pass through Woodlands Boulevard, still southbound, northbound lanes on Nova. Good boy, watch him. That a good boy, huh? Yeah. Hey, don't run, man. This will happen. This is McKinnish Park. Uh, I could just see one for sure. Yeah, news said it had been up to three, but we could just see him working on one right there. <laughs> 